Hello, I'm Cassie Knoll. This week on Suncoast FYI, Saltwater Cafe, Southeastern Guide Dogs, the world's largest offshore beach party, and the Sarasota Bayfront Fireworks Spectacular, all next on Suncoast FYI. Thanks for joining us today on Suncoast FYI. Saltwater Cafe is a family-owned restaurant that offers a fine dining experience in a friendly, casual atmosphere. The menu has over 300 items on it. And who better to tell us more about it than the Saltwater Cafe owner, Chef Rolf. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to come out at the kitchen and see, uh, do something a little yeah, different. Yeah, I was going to say, you haven't been on here in a while. Exactly, yeah, and I'm glad to be back. And you've got some good stuff with you today, so tell me about what you brought. Okay, but we have lobster festival going on this time of year. Uh -huh. They are great. They're coming in beautiful, hard shell lobsters. And what I brought you with here is a lobster pizza. It's one of the most selling pizzas, actually, what we have in the Saltwater Cafe. Mm -hmm. And it's great. And we have that pizza, actually, about 15 years on the menu. Wow, yeah, you so don't even have to change it because no, it's so good the it's way it is. I was one night actually just craving lobsters. I thought about lobster pizza. Uh -huh. I go in the morning in, it's, believe me or not, 8 o'clock in the morning, I make a lobster pizza, never change. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> that's how to yeah. make it work. So what's on the pizza besides lobster? Yeah, what we're doing, we actually make like a cream cheese, mit sour cream and cream cheese, like a, a sauce. We do a little scallion, parmesan, we mm -hmm. put on it, and then the fresh lobsters, and then mozzarella cheese. That's it, a little salt wow. and pepper, that does it, yeah. I don't know if you can hear my stomach growl, but that <laughs> sounds amazing. And so then, of course, you brought the lobsters. Of course, yeah, we have our main lobsters on special all the time right now. It's uh, sixteen ninety nine. it's a bargain. Mm -hmm. You can have actually one or two lobster, or you can build your surf and turf, like with the prime rib and lobster. Uh, however you prefer it. And uh, also we're doing not just, uh, we're doing a, a lobster uh, pasta we're doing also. Mm -hmm. We're actually stuffing the lobsters. Oh. However you prefer it, we do it. We grill it, we broil them, we steam them, whatever you like. And of course, then the lobster pizza is just one of your many seafood pizzas that you actually have. Exactly. I brought you the last time we did the tuna pizza when yes. we was here. With the little, uh, we're doing a tuna pizza. We have actually a great seafood pizza. What we put in some fresh fish, seafood, uh, mahi mahi we put on there, a little crab, and then mm -hmm. some fried calamari on top. Mm -hmm. That's another one. We're doing oh a, a great shrimp pie also, where we actually grill the shrimps and we put the shrimp on it. Mm -hmm. The tuna pizza, a smoked salmon pizza, where we actually Ooh. blind baking, that means we bake first the dough, uh -huh. and then we put the, a little cream cheese sauce on it there also, yeah. and then we put some capers, onions on and the smoked salmon on top. Oh my goodness. Because that's what it's actually the salt water knowing for. It's actually for the seafood pizzas. Of course, uh -huh. you have the pepperoni by the sausage on those, not the pies also. And then, of course, with the lobster, you want to pair certain wines with this. So what did yeah. you bring here today? I brought you today a simple, easy wine, uh, a Mont Gras Sauvignon Blanc. Goes very well with all the seafood, mm -hmm. uh, but the tent is more I be me, whatever you like goes actually with it. I also brought a red wine with it, a good Cabernet or mm -hmm. a good Merlot or a Pinot Noir. Goes all with it, whatever you like those days. There's no really set rule anymore. I was going to say, you have a lot of options. He gave me the menu when he got here. I'm like, this is even bigger <laughs> than the last time you were here. Yeah. There are so many options on this menu. We actually changed a lot. So it's, uh, so it does, it does the last time here. When you see it, we actually really go on local seafood. We mm -hmm. have no local seafood, what you get actually right there out in the water. Of course, we have some of the salmon. It's Norwegian salmon. We try yeah. to stay away from all the farm-raised fish. Mm -hmm. Or trout, salmon, grouper, all local. But we can get local, we get local. Wow. Or the scallops, mussels, oysters, everything what we can dry so local as possible. Wow, that yeah. is really great. And so, you guys, what are your summer specials besides your lobster? Okay, the summer special, we have actually always a lot too. Uh -huh. <laughs> right now, we're doing actually a little filet on scampi. Mm -hmm. That's probably the most popular right now. It's nineteen ninety nine. It's great. It's a five ounce filet. Comes mm -hmm. with a shrimp scampi. We're doing a mahi mahi on scampi. That's a little bit more reasonable for fourteen ninety nine. That's a bit the great special. Also, we actually knowing for our beef, we do a natural beef, no hormones, no antibiotic. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a filet available there, and also we're doing a dry aged black Angus steak right now. It's sixteen ounce bone in it. Beautiful steak. Wow. It's a uh, that goes for twenty seven ninety nine. They are great deals. And also, our weekly special is always interesting. You can actually get that lobster for $16.99 all weekend long. On Tuesday, we have steam pot. On Wednesday, we have actually snow crab for $16.99. Mm -hmm. We're doing on Thursday the 12 ounce prime rib. Friday, we have fish fry. Every day, we have something. And don't forget, we have a great Sunday brunch, which is always interesting uh -huh. with the free mimosa. Wow. There's so a, much, <laughs> yeah, exactly. so much, you just can't go wrong. So where are you guys located? We are located in Akomis, right in the front of the public shopping center, between Low Road, Cross Row Road and 41. You cannot miss this when you come down 41, it's the building with the black and white awning on. That actually changed, go from yellow-green 
to black and white. We remodeled the whole restaurant. Okay, so still completely noticeable. Then. Exactly, yes, that's Very right. Cool. Yeah. And you have a website as well? Yes, you can check us out on saltwatercafe.com. Go on there, check it out, the Saltwater Club, signed up. You can actually win free appetizers on there. You get the coupons where you have three course menu, uh, menus where you can go for $39.99. Uh -huh. uh, and you can also, when you signed up for the birthday club, you actually get a free meal. Wow. And with this, with this club, you actually can send all your friends a free appetizer too. Oh my goodness. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. You got so much information on the website, yeah. so much on the menu as well. Definitely a great place to check out because you pretty much have anything for anybody. Oh yeah, we try. That's exactly one of the specialties for the families. Uh -huh. We always try to have pizza, pastas, a little salad, a steak available. Mm -hmm. That's why it's actually the whole make the big group and the big families coming to our place. Very cool. So one more time, what's your website? Saltwatercafe.com or call us at 941-488-3775. All right. Well, thanks for coming on the show today, Thank guys. you for having me. All right. Next on Suncoast FYI, Southeastern Guide Dogs. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI, I'm Cassie Knoll. Southeastern Guide Dogs is a wonderful organization that pairs well-trained guide dogs with visually impaired individuals as well as much, much more. Here to tell us more are Annie Brown and her ambassador dog, Saxon. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for having us. I'll say it's great to have both of you guys here. It's, <laughs> I can't wait to interview you and I have already gotten a pet and love oh. on Saxon. He's wonderful. So tell me about Southeastern Guide Dogs. Well, as you said, uh, Southeastern Guide Dogs uh, creates partnerships between a dog and a person, and we follow that person for life. We have several programs. Uh, our program, Pause for Patriots, I'm sure you've heard, mm -hmm. heard of, and Pause for Independence. Pause for Independence um, connects a guide dog with a person. We follow that person for lifetime. Mm -hmm. and. Um, Paws for Patriots is for our veterans, mm -hmm. uh, and we also, that's for a veteran without sight, gets a guide dog, and we also have uh, in our Paws for Patriots program, very special, um, and that's for PTSD, for our wounded veterans that come back. Mm -hmm. uh, we've just uh, put in another, which is an emotional support dogs, which mm -hmm. are just comfort dogs yeah. that maybe that vet doesn't need quite as much as a uh, Paws for Patriots dog. Yeah, because um, animals are just wonderful. Oh my gosh. They can provide so much support without having to say anything exactly. and just being there. Exactly. It, that's really it's cool. It's made a huge difference. That is really cool because you guys are a fantastic organization. Thank you. So tell us about being a volunteer with Southeastern Guide Dogs and what you and Saxon do together. Well, I've been a volunteer for almost 12 years at Southeastern and uh, Saxon and I do a lot of things. We do tours for Southeastern. We do speaking engagements out for clubs and anyone that would re request it. Um, we also go to schools, mm -hmm. and he's in a reading program, uh -huh. and it helps a child that's a little bit timid in reading, mm -hmm. but it's open to every, every child in the elementary group. That's who we serve. Mm -hmm. And actually, our dogs like Saxon can work with special needs, mm -hmm. and he can work with autism. He is a multi-talented animal. He is. He really is. That is but really cool. But that's the temperament, and that's why we breed all of our own dogs to get that temperament. I was going to say, he's yeah. a collie. He is. Which is not the breeds that you guys actually use now. That is correct. We no longer use the collie or the um, uh, German Shepherd mm -hmm. and the Vishla. We use the Vishla. And the reason being because of the request that we get. And most of our requests are for the lab, uh -huh. the golden retriever, and then we mix the two together and we get the uh, gold adore, which uh -huh. is our gold adorable. I, I can only and imagine. <laughs> because when someone comes in, after a dog retires, mm -hmm. a lot of times someone will ask for the same breed. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that they'll get the same breed because everything is matched individually to your pace in mm -hmm. your pull. Um, just how you are. Your added eggs person. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Match definitely. per person on perfect top to match. It has to be a perfect match. So, if someone's looking for something fun to do this summer, what are some of your suggestions? Oh, for my them? goodness. Come take a tour at Southeastern Guide Dogs. Mm -hmm. You see it, and you see it with your own eyes what we do. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Um, it's $10, but that is a donation that goes to all the programs that we have at Southeastern because all of our dogs are offered at no cost. Mm -hmm. It's a gift, a gift of mobility and a gift of wow. helping that vet. Um, 
And then you also have your hug a puppy. We do, and that's also ten dollars. Uh -huh. And the easiest thing is to make a reservation mm -hmm. to make sure that you um, have a space. Yep. And that is ten dollars also for that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I know Saxon, the stage is uncomfortable. <laughs> there he <I'm> goes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, um, it's ten dollars uh -huh. also, and, and it's a donation. But mm -hmm. hugging a puppy is wonderful. <laughs> and one of the things that we do on the tours, we've changed our tours a little bit, uh -huh. and people are loving them. We're actually showing you that puppy in the education that it's learning, yeah. like its little sits mm -hmm. and downs. Oh, yeah, it's so cute! Amazing because the puppies so, need the social socialization, so that's a they good reason do to it. do it. For puppy hugging, absolutely. Yeah. And puppy hugging, you just get to hug the puppies as long as you want. And it's great. Birthday parties come. Uh -huh. Just make a reservation. I'll say there's so. nothing cuter. I don't think you've probably seen this, but nothing cuter than all the puppies running around just being, yeah. because, I mean, they're adorable. And how about that puppy breath? And oh then you, even that's cute. Puppy kisses? <laughs> yes. yes. And we like, we like grown dogs too, Saxon. Yes. Um, so if we're look, someone's looking to volunteer, um, what does Southeastern Guide Dog need? For volunteers. Right now we need puppy raisers. Mm -hmm. And what is a puppy raiser? A puppy raiser will take that puppy about 10 weeks old and they'll nurture them, take them everywhere they go, mm -hmm. uh, expose them, whether you go to church or go to a movie, mm -hmm. and expose them. You work with a team so you're not isolated. Mm -hmm. We have puppy raisers in eight states mm -hmm. and um, it just gets that that puppy out and exposes it to everything that will be seen later on. Because basically you adopt the dog until they're, what, 14 to 20 months old, I think I read? Right. And so then, but then you have to give it back. You do. <laughs> you're well, doing a great service, yeah, though. You're not really adopting them. Yeah. I think that is a nice, actually, it's like fostering. Yeah, it's fostering, yeah. And it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It really is. I have friends uh, that have raised quite a few dogs from mm -hmm. Southeastern. A lot of people say, I could never do it. I can't give it back. But when you think about changing someone's life in such a remarkable, mm -hmm. positive, changing their life, that they have that independence, oh my gosh, totally worth you it. could do it. Yeah. Totally and you it. get to meet the recipient. Oh, that's you even do. better. So you get the you reward do. at the end. On Puppy Raiser Day. So all of this wonderful information, where can people go to find more about it? Right on our website, mm -hmm. and that is guidedogs.org. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's really nice because you can make your reservations, and you can really see a whole lot more about Southeastern. Mm -hmm. We have tapes on there that show training yeah. in action, and it, it, it's just amazing. I was say, it's a great website. I actually was it uh, reviewing it before I had this interview. I and it, I couldn't get off of it. So definitely go check it out, and thank you for coming oh, on the show today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank and you thank for you having Saxon. us. <laughs> Coming up on Suncoast <laughs> FYI, we'll talk about the Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix and the many activities happening during the festival, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. I'm Cassie Knoll. Gold Coast Eagle Distributing is involved with over 600 charitable events in Sarasota and Manatee counties each year. And one of those events is about to get started. Here to tell us more are Justin Papa and Hugh Shields. Welcome to the show, guys. Well, thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. This is going to be a great subject matter to talk about because around the 4th of July holiday, always a good time to be outside. And you guys have a new event going on this year for the holiday weekend. Tell me about it. Well, we're going to have what we call the uh, Suncoast Offshore Grand Prix Beach Party. Mm-hmm. And it's a first-time event. We've partnered with uh, Ocean Properties. Mm -hmm. And each different ocean property out there has a different experience. Ooh. Holiday Inn will have a, a Lima Rita experience. Mm. Then we'll move over to the Lido Beach Resort and have a Mateo ex experience. And then we'll move down to the big party at the Sandcastle, where we'll have a live DJ. We'll have all kinds of games to play and enjoy the new racing that's going on out there this year mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of have at it. I oh, see so that sounds like a lot of fun and a lot of options for people as well. So yes. how long does the event go on during the day? It'll start about 11 o'clock <clears throat> and go till 5 o'clock. And the idea is, is everybody that comes out to the party has to complete a bucket list mm -hmm. at each different experience at each different location. Okay. We've got different games and activities for the people to check off their bucket list as they move down the beach from the Holiday Inn to the Lido Beach Restaurant uh -huh. to the Lido Beach Resort to the, finally the big party at the Sandcastle. Wow. Right. And then, of course, after all that, then you can move to Marina Jack and go watch the fireworks Absolutely. up there. Absolutely. It's better. about having activity prior to that so that the crowd can just 
celebrate the entire weekend. I would say that sounds fun, and it's also a family event as well, right? Sure. It is. It's, it's free to get in. Uh huh. And it's an amazing you... event every year, and we just figured why not keep people at the beach longer? Two days of racing this year instead of just one, so we'll have you know more opportunity to engage the consumer, but also just allow people to have a good time on the beach. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you have helped them plan their Saturday, because Fourth of July happens to be on a Saturday this year, which sure. is great for everybody. So this event actually goes for a good cause, too. Yes, it's all to benefit Suncoast Children's Charities. So That's a portion awesome. of the proceeds will go to them. See, even a better excuse for people to go out and do this, too. So um, there's going to be live music there as well. You told me you have a DJ coming in from Orlando. Yes, yeah. yes. She do, uh, we're pretty excited about that, because we have a big stage set up. And, I mean, it'll be just like party on the beach. We've got a 100-foot maze we're setting up. We've got a human foosball <laughs> table we're setting up for people to play. A human foosball table? Human foosball. That sounds interesting. It, well, that's just got to come out and check it out. We <laughs> also have uh, a new thing that's new to our area. It's called Major Beach Soccer. So they're going to be doing an exhibition out there so people can see what this is about. And uh, pretty excited about having that. There'll be yeah. some new activities. I'm just so excited now. I kinda, I'm going to have, definitely have to come and check this out. So for those um, coming to this event, there's actually going to be a trolley because parking obviously is a problem sometimes yes, on Lido yes, Beach. Yes, there will be trolley service that runs from Sarasota out to the Lido Beach area. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, you'll need to go on suncoastpowerboatgrandprix.org mm -hmm. and that information will be on there. Okay, do people have to sign up in advance for that trolley? No, it's going to be running regularly in okay. and out. Is that also a free service? Yes. Okay, good. That's a good thing for people to know. So, as we've mentioned, this event is part of the Sarasota Powerboat Grand Prix Festival. And as a presenting sponsor, how, has, how long has Gold Coast Eagle, Eagle been involved with this event? We've been with it over 20-plus <laughs> years. Mm -hmm. And along with doing different events, we also provide, like, print work for them, uh, support staff behind making sure that the, the beer is where it needs to be mm -hmm. and the, the equipment to dispense the beer and just every aspect of it that we can help out. Mm -hmm because we believe in what the uh, Suncoast Children's Charities are doing for our community. So. That's really awesome. That's fantastic. So besides the financial support, that's what you guys also provide sure. to the festival? Yeah, sure. they completely partner. I mean, we've completely partnered with the charity and the businesses in the area to make sure that it's a great experience for everyone. That's mm -hmm. really cool. So how many people are you expecting coming out to this event? We're shooting for 3,500 to 4,000. We're hoping wow. to knock it out of the park the first year, uh -huh. and then we're holding back because next year we're going to have even more exciting <laughs> so things So you're already planning up. ahead for next year? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's Absolutely. awesome. So it's going to be a party with all of your best friends. That's right. <laughs> Everybody's going to be going there. So, um, again, just to recap, it's free to the public. Yes. You can purchase food and, and, and drinks, drinks while you're there. While you're there, yes. And it's a family-friendly event, lots of activities, bucket yes. list, Saturday, July 4th from when? 11, till 11 to uh, 5 o'clock. 11 to 5. Yep. And then we have the fireworks coming up at 9 p.m. And we'll talk more about that coming up in just a minute. So thanks for coming on the show today, well, guys. Well, thank you. Thanks we hope they us. all come out and complete their bucket list. Definitely, definitely. Check and again, oh, wait, the website again, Sarasota Grand Prix. Grand, Grand Prix. Prix dot org. All right. Definitely come and check it out. And we'll have more information about that festival as well as the Bayfront Fireworks Spectacular coming up next. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI, I'm Cassie Knoll. The Sarasota Bayfront Fireworks Spectacular is one of the region's largest pyrotechnic displays and it's happening this next weekend in our own backyard. Here to tell us more is Marina Jack's Tom DeLong. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm really excited to talk about this. I love the 4th of July mm -hmm. and you guys do a fantastic job with this event. Thank you. So the funds from the Fireworks Spectacular go to the Suncoast Charities for Children. How long has that charity been involved with the fireworks? Seven years. Yeah, it's been seven years and um, you know, the show in itself has been growing over that, over that time period, so it's been a special experience. So this will be the seventh year for the Absolutely. fireworks? Mm -hmm. That's very cool. I'm sure it's becoming a more regular routine for the families on the Sun Coast. Nothing about July 4th is routine. There's a lot of preparation involved, but, you know, it's, it's certainly uh, something where, um, you know, again, the, the event has grown over the years, so it's, it's special. Oh, just tell me about those preparations that are going on right now. Well, it's about seven months of total preparation time, over 1,000 volunteer hours, and it just, you know, it's, it's every week, every month, and you know, obviously more time intensive the closer you get to the event. Um, but there's a lot of uh, loose ends to make sure, both from a safety standpoint and from a fund standpoint and just from a total organization standpoint, 
So there's meetings uh, that go on throughout the months to, mm -hmm. to, to prepare for this. And it was a, it's a lot, of, a lot of work that's involved. Yeah, because you guys are still a functioning marina, the restaurant, everything going on there while you're doing all of these preparations. Correct. And you've Correct. got other events going on, too. Correct. This is not the only thing you do right. a year. <laughs> right. So this is a privately funded event. Tell me what that means. Well, uh, basically, it's funded by a group of local uh, sponsors, supporters. And, you know, those funds go to, to pay for the, uh, the pyrotech display that goes on. Um, you know that that part in, in, in itself goes on. It takes you know we we do that every year, and it's it's um, a diverse group of sponsors that that help out with the event. So basically, instead of being like a chamber of commerce paying for the event, Correct. it's more like community. Community, and um, it's a it's a network of various uh, companies in the area. And all of the funds from it actually end up going back to Suncoast Charities for Children. That's correct. Which is just fantastic. It's coming out to fireworks for a good cause. That's awesome. Right. So um, SNN is going to be covering this. Mm -hmm. We're going to be there. We, we have been doing it for quite a while. We actually go up on the roof, which is a gorgeous view. I know most people don't get up there. But it's a beautiful view. We'll have live coverage beginning at 8.30 on Saturday, July 4th. Very excited to be there for that. All right, so you're gonna definitely want to check that out in Saturday. Anything else you want to add about the fireworks display? No, just uh, you know, a reminder that this is our nation's our nation's holiday, mm -hmm. and this, that's the reason to celebrate. And um, I think sometimes people lose lose track of that, but that is a real reason to celebrate. And it's a family friendly event, mm -hmm. so bring the kids. It's a it's a safe event, and just something that um, the kids and everybody can enjoy. And it's obviously at a beautiful location at Marina Jack. Is where can people go for more information about the event? Uh, MarinaJacks.com. Mm -hmm. Is, is a great place to go and um, and again there's there's a it's a perfect place to bring your your family and friends mm. all right so come check it out the fireworks display actually starts at what 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Approximately. Sure. right we go for that there at 8 30 again and we'll have live coverage on SNN so thanks for coming on the show today thank you and stay tuned to Suncoast FYI we'll be right back that's our show for today and thanks so much for joining us if you would like to promote your business or event on Suncoast FYI we would love to hear from you just call our sales department at 941-361-4223. I'm Cassie Nall, and we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.